Hello dear students, welcome in this online session of 10th standard and today we are going to take the part number 2 of the chapter number 9 forest resources wildlife. Now in the previous chapter, in the previous lecture, lecture number part 1, this is actually the part number 2. In the part 1 we discussed about forest, wildlife, species, forest, types of forest, distinguishes between them, differences between them, distribution of the forest and many more kinds of things too. Also, we studied about that destruction causes heavy damage towards the man and the forest too here. Along with the animals too. As well, we can say that animals are in the search of the food. They enter inside our own space areas. We feel that the animals are harmful to us. So, we interact with them with, an, with a clash. But that clash can be making anyone to be harmed enough. Either that's an animal or it's yourself only or a human being. So today in this lecture, we'll discuss the reasons why the animals are coming inside our area, why the forest are disturbed, why the forest fire causes, yeah, why the animals are verge on the extinct. Means they're about to be lose apart, disappear. Let's start this lecture today. And today you need to focus on the page number 68, 69 where I'm making you to understand with the black and white figure hunting of the animal. Now reasons for the destruction as I said you my dear students previously in my lecture that in the we can say due to the human interference especially the humans are responsible for that and due to the inter human interference this kinds of categories things are happening here that's what we can say due to the hin human interference inside the grassland if you talk about the watershed areas forest and other natural habitats are disturbed. Wild animals are actually put in the danger. We what we need, we need adventure, we need water reservoirs, we need forest camping and all. But do we need to understand also my dear students that these kinds of things are actually making these forests, the animals, the creature, birds and the other aquatic, uh, we can say lifestyle also disturbed by our interference. So we need to understand that we should not hurt them. Second thing, if you talk about the destruction, see this lesson is all about in this lecture, we are going to understand the reasons for the destruction of the wildlife. And that is only we will need to understand. So what can be the different reasons for the wildlife distribution or the destruction also? We can say that my dear students that due to forest, everything is good enough, but destruction of the forest is one of the main reason. That's one of the very main reasons which we need to understand, which is responsible to imbalance the whole of the ecological system also, which is created by the human beings. Number of wild animals are killed. Huntings are done. Why they are done? Just because they need to smuggle that kind of thing. They need to get money for that kind of thing. They need to get skin of the animal. Many more kinds of things are there. So we need to understand that these all the things are actually disturbing toward the natural wildlife of the animal. We should have stopped it out here. Second thing, if you talk about hunting of the animal illegally, Hunting of the animal is also very illegal process. We should not do that kind of thing too here because hunting of the animal is actually one of the term of theory where we can say that okay, these kinds of systematic development of the hunting system, especially in the animals related to the animal by the human being are one of the worth we can say that making them to be fall into danger also and they're also making their species decline down. So now if you go more further, then we can say that okay, these kinds of things are done and we need to stop this out also. Now, if we go more further, then we can say that okay, hunting apart for the hide, for the bone, for their teeth, skin, or whatever the things they are getting from the organs also sometimes. For the flesh also, some people are eating the flesh of the wild animals too here for their own enjoyment. So they are disturbing these kinds of natural inhabitants also. Apart from that, if you go more further, then we can say that the over exploited areas also we can say that over explosion, okay, forests are also made by somehow we can say in danger by the human being so by the man or his greediness motive forests are actually once again we can say overly exposed it is actually taken out the trees are cut the animal plant trees other things are also we can say they are actually in the danger and therefore we can say that multi-purpose projects are there check dams are there other kinds of things are also there which is accepting or which are actually responsible for the forest destruction too here therefore if you go more further we can say cities placement also settlement of the society too placement of the playground then some kinds of helipads and many more kinds of build up inside the forest so again it is actually disturbing whole of the environment so therefore we need to understand here now the forest land is very precious land it is very encroached by the grasses also so fuel for the grazing animals 
also we can say that uh, fuel uh, it is also like a fuel for the grazing animals but most of time we actually graze our domestic animal and that's why we are making them in the danger along with that if you go more further then we can say that okay, these kinds of forest are actually engulfing many more kind of species maximum species are there but when the forest actually fire occurs these all the species are burnt out they are not taken carrying away with the help of the human interference or with the help of by themselves also so therefore it is actually one of the thing where we can say this time is this time we need to understand to protect the forest also if you talk about the young one babies this of the the newly hatched eggs the small babies of kangaroo if you talk about uh, the bear sloth bear baby any kind of small uh, we can say baby of any animal bird are also not about to run faster when the forest fire is there so they are also burnt out in that also so we can say that it also create a negative impact over the wildlife and its resources too along with that we can say hunting is also another process which is actually widely done here as i have said you before hunting also carries in the forest to the forest on the destruction because hunting is also one of the basic process where forest is somehow disturbed by the people because the people hunt the animals which are actually rarely available rarely available means their market demand will be extra you'll get extra money for the skin bone teeth or for their other kinds of other uh, we can say so pieces of their heads and all so that hunting of the animal is also not good my dear student and we should also stop these kinds of things related to the theory to here so the animals which are about to just extinct are also somehow taken in the category of hunting which actually i don't appreciate personally if you're talking about the hunting so if you go more further then we can say that ki not only this kinds of things other than we can say that ki when the property of the people or when the other things are increasing extra in the amount when the when the uh, we can say needs of the human beings are increasing they actually start to make their houses inside nearby the areas to the forest they cut the trees furniture development and many more kinds of development are also there which are responsible for this kinds of basic theories of the forest and development to here where they are actually trying to make everything struggle or everything like hurt back in the area where the wildlife animals are living there so if you go more further then measures of the prevention of this kinds of wildlife should be also done there now which kind of measures should be taken out here it is necessary to change our attitude towards the forest and the resources why because because we will not change our attitude itself will be not growing well related with the nature and one day it will come nature will make us understand what is the value of forest therefore we need to understand that forest resources and the forest needable things should be only utilized it should be utilized judicially and animals especially the animal category should not be hurt out here so the perception of our own needs towards the attitude of the forest or we can say related attitude from the human beings to the forest should be changed out here we consider it is a source of unlimited income but actually it's a mistake that we need to understand that is a mistake because unlimited income makes us to become insecure to make it makes us to become like feel free and it also makes us to become irresponsible and we use those kinds of things and we hurt directly or indirectly to the forest over here so my dear student we can say that it is also preserved well if the human being attitude is changing and only then natural habitats for the wildlife can be saved out if we need to change if we are actually changing our habits we are changing our lifestyle we are changing our attitude perceptions of thinking then only it can be saved out so maintaining the balance into the ecological system or the number of between herbivores and the carnivores is the main basic thing which is related inside the forest and also we can say that the steps should be taken to maintain the balance to maintain the water resources to maintain the food scarcity and to also maintain the security related to the domestic animal which are going for the grazing now if you don't understand what is the meaning of grazing then i would like to tell you that grazing means the animals which are actually going with the human interference domestic animal i'm talking about cow sheep donkey buffalo horse human beings are taking this kinds of animal into the forest now they are grazing this kinds of animal they are eating the grasses and all so if they will eat the grass and all then what will be ate by the forest forest herbivorous animals and if the herbivorous animal of the forest are decreasing inside the number dying due to hunger or they are going somewhere else due to no grass available then what will happen towards the predators the prey animals lion tiger jaguar cheetah or we can say panther many more kinds of animals are the wild cat and all so these kinds of things should be studied out in this lecture in this lesson and also we need to understand that projects should be taken 
forward which kind of project animal saving project should be also taken forward so that it should be also helping towards the general basic needs towards the human beings also as well the ecological system of the forest too here so now if you focus more further then we can understand the basic theories where we can understand that these kinds of forests these kinds of strict laws should be made out here in the especially to ban the hunting apart from that if you talk about then we can say that ki, these kinds of things should be systematically followed also by the people it should be heavy tax imposed on that heavy penalty should be also imposed on the illegal hunting actually there is no legal and illegal hunting hunting is a process where the animals are killed birds are killed and hunting should be stopped out that's the basic thing and apart from that we can say that heavy punishment should be also made out for the people who are actually interested maximum for the hunting purpose along with that there should be also in fact they should be also somehow kept inside the jail for the illegal crime and also we can say that okay, they should be also focused in such a way that again they should not create that kind of crime here mining in that the, inside the forest should be also somehow controlled or stopped out apart from that we can say if there are any doing illegal activity inside the forest then there should be illegal penalty there should be legal penalty imposed over that kind of person and a one day or two day jail should be also there so that they can actually get the right information what is the value of forest so this is actually one of the theory where i am trying to make my explanation with you my dear students and you can understand the basic theory related to the forest also now if you understand then we can say that a study should be made actually it is necessary for the government to understand arrangement that distribution of the animal during the procreative periods like winter time summer time if the summer time is there then water facilities should be started inside the forest water tanks should be built up so that animal can take themselves they can come and they can have this kinds of water also and they can be saving themselves from the dehydration so if you go more further then we can say that okay, some of the studies should be also made apart so that we can understand the balance of forest along with that we can say ill effect activities should be also somehow controlled out like we can say ill uh, likely like effects of fisheries can be seen out there and the forest gatherings are there somehow tourisms are there many more kinds of campusing are there camping are there this should be somehow stopped or if they are done then they should be done under the surveillance of the we can say the protective people or the people who are also known as the rangers available inside the forest so that they can guide you that before burning any kind of coal wood plastic anything inside the forest what kind of precautions should be taken out here and if it is better for your own self that if you are whenever going inside the forest you should not carry any kind of weapon like gun any blade or any kind of other burnable material or the plastic too which can make you also in danger and after you the animals also in the danger so if you go more further program should be made here study should be made here and also we need to understand that it is the wildlife which is actually beauty adding towards an india so it is the beauty which is making india's goodness among the world india's variety of the richness among the world so it is our duty also to protect these kinds of things among the world regarding india and therefore if you go more further then we can say that ki, if the wildlife protection forces are active well or they are actually inactive then problems can be created so they should be active well pressurization should be done over the people who are actually illegally creating some kind of activity inside the forest here and apart from that they should be also bring on the priority where the animals which are going to extinct they should be taken like extra care the animals which are rare found they have they should be also taken the ex, they should be also taken towards the extra care with the forest department officer government should also give them some kinds of subsidies and government should also give them the amount of help care financial income so that every state should make their forest proper and state policy should be also imposing on that so that forest should be taken under the prevention act and it should be working well for the people of india so that upcoming generation can be seeing this kinds of beauty of animal and the forest too otherwise they will just see inside the 3d cinemas just 3d cinemas nothing else they will just see inside the 3d cinemas lion tiger buffaloes and all because they will be not ex existing at the time 2050 2060 so we need to understand my dear student we need to take care before the disaster is coming so that we can take care of this kinds of beauty of the nature also so this is all the theory related to the topic of forest also you can see the ganga dolphin so the detailed theory is given inside the textbook things to know you can read it by yourself if we move further 
then it is also said that okay, some kinds of projections are also done there some kinds of projects are also made so that some kinds of animals which are very rarely available should be protected well let's check it out one of the project related to the tiger project here now wildlife protection act has also working in a in a so sequence so that the dangerous animals and the animal which are in the danger should be protected well tiger project if you talk about then tiger project was somehow started in the start of the 20th century if you talk about Cell, same as we can say that as per the one estimate if you talk about the 20th century around 40,000 tigers were there 40,000 <coughs> tigers were seen in the area of India in the ancient time and in the beginning of 20th century but if you talk about okay, due to the unrestricted existing of the hunters inside the forest due to unrestricted and illegal hunting the deforestation the big danger created by the help of the human beings and now the tigers were in the danger now when the tigers were in the danger they actually lost their existence slowly 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 this number decreased out in such a circumstances we can say that okay, this project was also not there at that time but when it was actually when it was started in the 1971 then actually we got very drastic we can say calculation related to the tiger project now what was a drastic calculation we can say that like we were having tigers more than not more than 3000 and 4000 so we need to improve that therefore after improving and going more further with this kinds of lecture we can say that tiger saving project was also done and it was done on a level where we can say that okay, tigers are nowadays improving inside the quality and the quantity and also in the in the level where we can say that okay, this kinds of tiger project is actually working well in the area part of rajasthan also in the bengal also some part of Gujarat also and other part of the nation also because these are the beautiful animal and they needed to be protected out also so therefore we can say okay, till now under the protection uh, project act a series of the uh, connections are made means a series of the loop of systematic theories are made in which tigers are projected so if you go more further then we can understand that this kinds of illegal activities were only responsible for the illegal hunting of the tiger and therefore steps are taken from the government side also and for the people means human beings of nearby areas are also taking the steps to protect this kinds of tigers and we can say that under the scheme of this production we can say extra amount of tigers were protected well and they were also somehow subjected for the animal which are coming in the very rare species also and very extinct animal too here therefore the priority for the tiger protection was created on a high level and if you go more further then we can say the natural habitats were also created now also it is there and to maintain the ecological balance and the national level at the national level also we can say till now the project is actually implementing over the 44 regions related to the tiger so tiger project is also one of the project which is protected because you have if you have not seen the beauty of tiger then you need to go and check out the beauty of tiger because tigers are very beautiful they are the prey animals and they are the animals which are actually now a day is about to be disappeared but due to human interference and due to human influence cultural theories of the protection act we are actually making tiger to be working more with the other tiger means we are trying to make tigers to be grow more and now the numbers of the tigers are also increasing day by day which is a very helpful calculation related to our own theory and also related to the basic general example of the tiger protection act now this is not only the limitation my dear student if you go more further then we will understand that related with the tiger protection act many other protection acts were also started to protect some other species too now what were that that we need to focus and that we need to understand you can see now comes the elephant project here elephants are very silent animal and they become violent only when you disturb them or if they feel insecure so if we talk about the animals like elephant the big uh, elephant which is coming from the category of the family of the huge mammoth which are found before 10,000 BC and then we can talk about that this project is also taken out to protect these kinds of animals since from the year 1992 must remember the date, the date my dear students so elephant production is actually objective phrase to provide the basic protection for the elephant also we can say that they are also focusing over that that elephant should be growing well inside the numbers means the number of the elephant should be improved well therefore if you go in the detail form then we can say that okay, the natural habitat of the elephants are nowadays also created so that their migratory corridors should be also protected out and if you go in the detail then we can say that okay, today there are 26 protection zones of the elephant must remember my dear students 
26 protected zones are there of the elephants which are actively working in the nation here and they are work actually working in the India and therefore we can say after the implementation of the basic rules, regulations, theories, calculation and the numbers of protection schemes elephants are nowadays too protected here. So we can understand that this kind of elephant project is also working here where the numbers of elephants are living inside the forest they are protected to here or the sanctuaries are also made for them. Besides of that if you talk about projects have been also maintained for the domesticating elephant. The elephants which can be domesticated or which are not feeling secured in the domestication are also taken care by the government NGOs are working for that. And NGOs are working in such a way that they're actually helping these kinds of owners of the elephant too also here and the elephant too enough medically we can say physically or we can say by the protectively too here. Now the beautiful animal if you talk about the one horned rhino India Kaziranga Assam let's talk about one horned rhino as you can understand that the project of rhino was somehow also started and if you talk about this kinds of rhino project then we can say that okay, rhinos are a very aggressive animal but occasionally most of the time they leave to they they generally need to live alone or they live inside a group whenever they feel insecure then they can be actually creating some kinds of pressure which is actually pressure compared to a mini truck when they are hitting to any of the animal or any vehicle too so rhinos are quite risky but apart from that we can say that this kinds of animals should be also protected well because they are beauty of the nature so if you talk about the rhinos in the assam state especially Okay, there are some of the Assamese rhinos are found and nowadays the rhinos are increasing in the number. Now one horn rhino is very famous in India which is actually kept under the preservative zone of Assam, Kaziranga. So if you can say that in the Sundarban also they are found related to the Bengal, West Bengal and according to the category if you talk about strategy of the rhino. 2020-20 we can say that rhino vision 2020-20 today we are living in the 2020 then we can say that and in case the number of the rhinos are also there and which is going towards the number of 3000 can you imagine the number is going more than 3000 that's an example of the theory where we can say rhinos are also very very uh, we can say they are protective by the human beings and i'm very happy to fill this kinds of examples to read in front of you because I personally love animals and if the animals are there then I can see the beauty of nature is actually sustaining in them. So rhino saving project is also one of the best project and we should all support this kinds of project my dear students. Not only rhino we can say any of the animal any of the bird any of the animal any of the theories of the animals are there. We need to try to protect them that is our moral duty and that we need to always remember we should not forget that out here. So if you go more further then we can see that. Alligators too are found in India, but protection for the alligators are not working as well as like the rhino protection of the other protection are there. So if you focus on the alligators numbers and the calculation and the year, then we can say that the species of alligators which are also rarely available are nowadays too protected here and somehow they are found in the fresh water as well as the, near the canal side too. If you talk about the Vadodara, then Vishwamitri, one of the river is there which is famous for the alligator, especially in the monsoon. Apart from that, we can say that they are also verge on the extinct, they are decreasing. So, since from the decade of 1970, we need to remember the decade of 1970, the government of India took a timely step to start the objective and protective phrase towards the alligator protection also. Therefore, alligators are also nowadays protected very well. Now, vultures are there, snow leopards are there, other many kinds of other, we can say species, bird are there in the protective zone because they are also about to be extinct they are also about to be vanished from our nation disappear so you have seen the vulture as i have asked in my previous lecture vultures are nowadays very rarely seen my dear student they are not available in all the part of the nation so we need to understand that's a general theory so we can say that okay, vulture project is also actually related with the cleanliness vulture is a scavenger and it is related with the cleanliness it is cleaning the environment dead decayed body of the animals dogs Caracasses and all it is eating. So therefore we can say that okay, the meat actually of the animal which are dead animals are cleaned by the vulture So we need to protect the vulture too here and Himalaya sites vultures can be seen here Some of the part of the Gujarat also it can be seen there and the other related facts of the vultures are also there Which are very helpful to us. We need to understand because this vultures are helping us to make our environment clean too 
सो इफ यू गो इन द डिटेल देन वी कैन से दैट माइंड स्टूडेंट्स के वल्चर पर देर आर नाइन सब स्पीसीज ऑफ वल्चर्स इन इंडिया नाउ दिस काइंड ऑफ स्पीसीज आर अवेलेबल दिस काइंड ऑफ स्पीसीज आर फाउंड इन इंडिया एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ स्पीसीज आर द स्पीसीज व्हिच आर रियली अवेलेबल इन द अदर पार्ट ऑफ द जोन टू हियर देयरफॉर वी नीड टू प्रोटेक्ट दिस काइंड ऑफ स्पीसीज आल्सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वी कैन से दैट कि ड्यू टू द अनयूजुअल ड्यू टू अनयूजुअल डिक्रीज इन द नंबर दिस प्रोजेक्ट वाज स्टार्टेड इन द 2004 एंड नाउ आल्सो इट इज गोइंग आउट नाउ एज पर माय कैलकुलेशन माय डियर स्टूडेंट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट three kinds of basic systematic development are there which are deadly development for the vultures now what are the development the first thing is that the animals are given poison and then they are dying vultures are eating these kinds of animal contagious animals and then they are also dying the second thing is that the vultures are not actually getting all the dead bodies and all here and there that's why they are moving on a place where this kind of thing found and the third thing is that illegal hunting hunting for the bone meat or the feathers are also one of the reason vultures are actually disappearing here so these are the basic thing which i am making you understand and same as we can say that snow leopards are also there snow leopards are quite cute leopards but they are actually leopards so you need to take care before the before encountering this kinds of leopards here so we can say that these kinds of species are found in the altitude where the temperature is low you might have guessed we talking about the himalayan zone snow leopard means icy zone so therefore we can say 3000 meters of the himalayas there we can say uh, found at the altitude of 3000 meters of the himalayas and they are living in the range of the snow only where they are feeling comfortable snow leopard i am talking about apart from that this project was started in the 2000 and we can say with the purpose to increase the amount of leopards by the knowledge and apart from the we can say that case snow leopards among the local people were also known at that area but the local people were also somehow killing in the ancient time just because they were feeling insecure so we need to we made some kinds of rules regulations and laws also before killing this kinds of animal and apart from that we can say that ki the people are now it is aware and they are protecting this kinds of thing beside this we can say other projects are also working which kind of projects are there so we can say operational projects including kashmiri hingol project then apart from the red panda project as i made you understand in my previous lecture also we can say that project of uh, we can say uh, manipur side then tamil project is there then uh, we can say special species then birds another uh, we can say ganga dolphin and related kinds of other brahmaputra river and other kinds of river projects are also working there so that alligators fish then some of the mammals which are available by that then some kinds of himalayan alligators or uh, sorry himalayan leopards and all could also protected out so when these kinds of things are protected then only we can say that ecological system or natural balance is maintained if these are not protected then i don't think so our natural balance can be protected out so now we'll understand after getting this much theories about the animal now we'll understand the difference between centuries national park and the bioreserves what are the difference between centuries national park and the bioreserves centuries national park and the bioreserves are actually one of the one of the productive productive zone which are actually for the animals only and we can say that they are the best places where the animals can be kept as per the two days rules and regulations because hunters are there outside and they can be hunting they can be smuggling and they can be doing all the kinds of illegal activities therefore if you talk about the centuries what are the centuries what kind of rules and regulation they belongs to let's check it out here centuries are somehow permitting the human interference but in a limited space area also we can say that ki domesticating of the animals are allowed but somehow we can say only to graze but with the due permission of that you are not allowed to take all the time animals there inside that kind of areas so then we can say the diagnosis between the animal their birth death calculation is done in the centuries to here now if we talk about the wildlife wildlife means the wildlife sanctuary is actually established for the protection of this kinds of animal species or some of the special species here therefore we can say sanctuaries can be established by the government and after certain process we can say it can be established by the government apart from that we can say some of the sanctuaries if i talk about then pariyar are there then chandrapadas are there chandraprabhas are there etunagam sanctuaries are there are the famous sanctuaries of our nation you can see in the map which is given directly inside the figure way
now comes the national park now what is the national park compared to the sanctuary this is more protected zone and especially we can say that okay, more protected zone means there are more protective schemes working here of the government in the national parks also we can say that more than ecosystem is one including and and if you go more in the detail then we can say okay, there is a complete ban on the grazing of the animal too that's a very good enough of the things if we talk about the national parks related with the theory of we can say that okay, it is not created around the species uh, like the century species are there it is actually not centered only on the we can say on on the species which are related to the centuries but it is actually centered where we can say that some of the animals should be protected well especially some kinds of categorized animals should be protected well more apart from that then we can say that it can be for the one animal only one and only one animal related with the other animals too here and uh, more in the detail then we can say that okay, these kinds of things are these kinds of uh, national parks are available in india so it is not thus we can say centered around only one uh, we can say species of the animal then if we, if you can say that that national parks are also very big enough and therefore we can say it is established through the coordination uh, we can say meetings and the department of the state and the central government too along with that we can say kaziranga then jim corbett national parks vilavadar parks are there apart from that we can say marine national parks are there then dachigam then gir forest of our gujarat you must be knowing about the gir park gir national forest also are one of the important national park of this nation along with that if you talk about the bio reserves then we can say the bio reserve zones like it is formed somehow during the uh, we can say when most of the animals are feeling insecure and danger that we are making the bio reserve zone it's like a whole of like a biosphere so therefore we can say that according to the international norms according to the rules and regulations of the international norms biologists are supposed to protect the physical cultural and diversity area of any region along with that we can say besides the vegetation insect land of that area then lifestyle of the people living area protected are all the protection schemes are working in that here means the human beings can be seen also inside this year all the insects, cerebrates, every kind, uh, kind of the living and non-living, semi-living things can be also seen there. So we can say that somehow bars is also very helpful here whenever we are talking about the especially the terms of the calculative factor related to the bioreserve. Special arrangements are done there in the bioreserve. Also, we need to understand special arrangements are created for the research and training also in the bioreserve. Along with that, in such kinds of condition, we can say that proclaiming area of the bar reserve zone all the external human uh, we can say moments are somehow totally restricted especially in the area where some kinds of experimental things are going there and more apart from that we can say every area of such zone or 5000 square kilometers can be subjected for the bar reserves apart from that we can say that nilgiri then uh, we can say gulf of manar then apart from that uh, great nicobar are one of the like Sundarban also Royal Bengal Tiger are found there they all are related with the bar reserve zone then uh, Panchamadis also etc are related with the bar reserve zone which are actively working now also as an important bar reserve of our India and we can say the run of Kutch is also related with that if you have gone to the Kutch which is the part of Gujarat was also is also related with the bar reserve so we can say that it is also reserved as a bar reserve zone declared that is on the 2008 so we need to understand my dear students that these kinds of best schemes are working with the government these kinds of best theories are working of the government so that bio reserve zone national park and all these kinds of things should be proclaimed well they should be protected well but if we don't take everything seriously then nothing is valuable the value of these kinds of things are under development now if we talk about the gujarat you can see inside the chart that india bio reserve zone national park and the sanctuary in india we have total 18 bio reserve protected zone now what about national park 103 national parks are there what about centuries 53 centuries are there let's talk about the gujarat in gujarat we have only one bar as a protected zone along with that we can say four national parks are there 23 centuries are there in the gujarat that is a very interesting fact which i am actually making you understand in this lecture so development process is in inevitable it is like not extinct it is not going to be end we need to develop 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 but keeping the necessary demands keeping the judiciary things entire lifestyle system can be changed out planning should be made out so that whenever wherever any species are destroyed or any species are in the danger we should protect them out we should come forward to protect them out presently we can say that all these kinds of activities are working in the nation of india and other projects are also related with this scheme theory too here so you need to focus on the 
things to know in this lesson which is given in the extra hint, hint amount and you can also get some google theories related to that here so this lecture was related with the theory of the uh, bar reserves national park then destruction why the destruction is caused and also this lesson was related with the theory where we can understand okay we need to come forward as per the human beings we need to come forward to protect this kinds of animal species cultural habitats bar reserves national park and other things too here so i hope this lecture was interesting for you my dear students and i hope that this lecture made you to understand what is the importance of forest wildlife and resources too take care we'll meet in some other lecture this lecture of the lesson 9 was till here only and jai hind